so the CARTITUDE 4 trial was the first CAR T cell trial that was addressing patients in second to fourth line of therapy. So the first time it was a randomized trial where we looked whether CAR T cells are better than support than, than the standard of care in earlier lines of therapy. It was actually a comparison between CAR T cell therapy and either pomalidomide Velcadex or Daraptumumab pomalidomidex. And after the short bridging therapy, patients received silter cell infusion. And the, the results was that the patients that had received or, or were supposed to receive silter cell had a progression-free survival which was not reached the median after 16 months, whereas in the conventional arm with a standard of care, the progression-free survival was 11.3 months. So it was clearly, clearly better, the silver cell arm. So the main side effects were neutropenia, thrombocytopenia, but that happened in both arms. Also, the infection rate was about the same in both arms. Also, secondary tumors were about the same. And there were more deaths due to COVID in the, in the uh, silter cell arm. So it's very important. I think this is an important message to everybody. If you receive CAR T cell therapy, you are very vulnerable to infections. And COVID still plays a role in, in CAR T cell treated patients. So these, and then there are the, the typical CAR T cell side effects, so cytokine release syndrome, neurotoxicity, which was not very um, um, frequent. It was about 70% grade 1, 1% grade 2 CRS, neurotoxicity about 20% in total, and only about 2% or 2.8% grade 3. What they had in addition was the so-called um, non-ICANS neurotoxicity. So some patients had nerve palsy, so Bell's palsy happened in, in 16 patients. Some patients had some form of neuropathy, but that was only about five patients out of 200. And only one patient, fortunately enough, had this kind of Parkinson-like syndrome, and that was rather mild. And I think the reasons why the side effects were less severe than when, com when compared to CARTITUDE 1 is that we had a better bridging therapy. So it's important if you go for CAR T cell therapy to really try to control the disease before you give the CAR T cells. Then it's better tolerated and more effective. Yeah, I think it's it's for the first time, and, and, and we are all very help, we are very optimistic that we will get approval for second, third, and fourth line using CAR T cells. I think this is something we should really aim for. And then the next step will be whether the companies will be able to provide sufficient number of CAR T cells and whether our healthcare systems are prepared to pay for it. But I think it's a real hope for our patients because what we see now in these, because we are very, we are getting really good in first line therapy, but it's getting more and more difficult to treat patients in second and third line. And here we have a completely new option. And I think that's, I, I'm really so happy that we have it.